Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Zero Hour, which is being broadcast to you from storm-tossed and rain-drenched Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., which was expected, like much of the east coast of the United States, to be in the path of Hurricane Joaquin. Expected, that is by the United States Weather Service, not by the European Weather Services. Now we are told, as of this recording, that Hurricane Joaquin is heading out to sea. In other words, we are told that once again, the Europeans are right and the Americans are wrong. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that. As I say, we are recording on this monologue on Friday afternoon, so if the hurricane turns back and slams the East Coast between now and Saturday when we broadcast, this will be the biggest epic fail this program has ever had. But assuming that those predictions are correct, let's talk about that. Let's talk about why the Europeans are right, were right, and why the Americans were wrong about this hurricane. Let's talk about why the Europeans were also right about Hurricane Sandy and the Americans were wrong with a devastating impact. The fact is that it has been reported in the New York Times and elsewhere. Uh, the European model leads the pack because they have been willing to pay for, and I quote, faster computers, superior models, and new data. The United States has not quite matched that effort, reports the time. It did not invest in computing power or models that kept up with the potential for better forecasts. Now, why is it that American exceptionalism, which is based on the idea that we have to be number one at everything, fails when it comes to something as important and potentially life-saving as weather prediction? Here's a theory. Because in order to invest in those models, which we so urgently need, government has got to be good at something. Conservatives don't like government being good at something. Government has got to tax billionaires and corporations their fair share in order to keep them and us safe from hurricanes and other adverse events and aware of the weather as it happens and before it happens so we can do something about it. So for both financial and ideological reasons, we are refusing to invest in the things we so desperately need. And until we do, we're going to stay wet and sometimes we're going to get hurt. I'm Richard R.J. Eskow and this is The Zero Hour.